Here we're given a difference equation and we're asked for a block diagram. So the difference equation tells us what happens to x. So in this case, x has 3 added to it, it's multiplied by 5, and then we add a delayed version of x. So we're going to do those operations in that order. We're going to take x, we're going to add 3 to it, so that's my 3. So now I have x plus 3. Then I want to multiply it by 5. So I simply add a multiplication operator there, and I multiply by 5. So that's this first part done. Now I want to add a delayed version of x. So this is the x of n minus 1. So this is my addition. That's the output for the addition. That's my y of n. And the input to the addition is a delayed version of x of n. So we need somehow to delay x. So we simply feed the input into a delay block, and that'll give me x of n minus 1. And then we add that to the output of this multiplication, and that will then give me um, my final answer, which is y of n minus 1, or my output, which is y of n, sorry. So this is my output. And the output should match that. We can just check that again as we go through from left to right. That's my input, x of n. I have 3 added to it. That's the plus 3 there. It's then multiplied by 5. That's my 5 right there. And then I have a delayed version of the input added to it. So that's my um, delayed block there. And x of n goes in. What comes out is the delayed version. So that's uh, the first part of the uh, question. The second part of the question is asking for the actual output, so find y of n. And we're given the sequence for x of n, and we're asked for y of n. So we need to feed y of n, or feed x of n, into this equation, step by step, or uh, digit by digit, sample by sample. So. Sometimes it's useful to, to draw a table for this. I won't do that, but I'll do something which looks a little bit like a table. So for n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have x, which is given in the question as 0, 0, 2, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0. So let's find y of n. So if we assume the system is initially relaxed, then y of n for negative time is 0, and x of n for negative time is 0. So what's y of n? It's 5 times x of n plus 3. Well, x of n is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, multiplied by 5 is 15. But then we need to add the previous value of x. Now, there is no previous value of x, it's a, it's a relaxed system, so the uh, value of x of n minus 1, or um, x of 0 minus 1, which is x of minus 1, is just 0. So we don't need to, to add anything other than 0. So it's 5 times 0 plus 3, which is 15. So that's my first value for y. The next value for y will be similar. So it's 5 times x of 1. x of 1 is still 0. Plus 3 is 3 times 5 is 15, and we're adding 
the previous value for x. The previous value for x is still 0. So this is x of n minus 1. So when n is equal to 1, the value of n minus 1 is 0, and x of 0 is still 0. So no change. We still have 15 plus 0. Now it changes when x equals when n equals 2 because x is now equal to 2. So now we have a 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And we add to that the previous value of x. The previous value of x, in this case, is 0. So we're adding 0 to 25, and the answer will simply be 25. So the next value for y is when n equals 3. When n equals 3, x is equal to 2. So we have the same again. We have 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. But now the previous value of x is no longer 0. It's 2. So now we have 25 plus 2. So 25 plus 2 is 27. So our value of y is now 27. And then we just keep doing that. The next value of x is going to be 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 take away the previous value of x, which in this case is 2. Or 20 plus the previous value of x is 2, is 22. And you keep doing that. The next one will be 21. Then there's a 16. Then there's a 15. And you could carry on doing this. So here we found the first few values of the output given the input signal and the difference equation. We, ha we don't have an impulse response, we don't have a transfer function, we didn't even have a block diagram. All we had was the um, uh, difference equation. And we used that to find the first few values of the output y. And if necessary, we could sketch that, we could plot these values. So here we have our final answer.